Also, if you can't tell with the interface, is that when uh, it shows a monster and has that purple, that means that someone else has actually activated and started the combat, so you don't, I won't actually obtain any experience for it. But since it's part of the fate, and the fate is actually going to stop these guys and to do as much damage as possible, I'm okay with that. Also, he's level 4, I'm not too worried about experience all that much with that. Uh oh, there's a big one. on over to my ice. Cast ice spell a couple times. Cast my lightning. And let's switch on over. Cast me some fire. <laughs> Do come over here. Don't drag him up. Don't drag me into this. Ah, there we go. Now he fits at me. Nice. So actually going in using the ice instead of doing the damage anymore. Uh, I actually use the rage. Ah, that's quite a bit of craziness going on. Nice. A lot of experience. Okay, so where do I need to go now? Let's head back over here. Yeah, so my one gripe with actually making use of the map and things of that nature is... For instance, I can't click on this, and it'll show me a map, it'll show me over here. I'm kind of used to going and being able to do in games where I can right click and say, you know, set as my destination, and it'll just show up on my on my map and kind of say exactly where I need to go in order to go and reach it, which is a little different at first. It, it, I kind of ran into a couple little problems where I was trying to figure out exactly how to navigate uh, the initial city you start off in. Disciple of War, which I'm not. I'm all classes. All classes just means pretty much <laughs> your mage can equip it as well. And let me see. Open up this. I got me some pants. Intelligence plus one. Where are my pants right now? Oh, cool. Why is that? Does absolutely nothing. Hmm. Yay, quest reward. So how it sort of works is, based on looking at this, you can tell where <laughs> some missions you have are based on the blue text. So blue text means that it actually takes you to another portion of the screen and that there is a mission over there heading that way. So if I go in here, I go to Ula, I have a mission in here. It's, so it's a little disconcerting. It, it can kind of help you on out in how to find stuff. It's not nearly as good as just being able to right click and say hey I want to do this mission next you know make it my focal mission and it's just showing you right on the mini map exactly where you need to go in order to get there like the shortest distance 
but it works all right. So that's essentially the soul stone, which is in this game it's called um, it's like the Aether. The Aether. Well, I forget what the exact name of it is. Like right now, since I'm in the city, it shows me exactly where I need to go. But if it's you know within a, a zone away, it doesn't really give you very clear instructions. But it's like called the Aetherdite. And uh, you actually have a 15 minute round time from using it. But when you actually go to it, if you've actually obtained and gotten access to some of those other encampments as well as uh, small little cities that you've been to, you can right click it or it can actually make use of uh, the teleport option once you've actually gone to a couple decently sized cities. And with that information, you can actually very quickly teleport home and save yourself some money and then teleport to another area that you've been to and jump around the maps quite a bit. So it makes it so it's not super tedious to get around like it was in some of the older games. Big giant pain in the button, you know, running for an hour and a half to get from city to city. Oh man, he's so excited. He loves him some blood. Cutscene! Guys are such dicks. All he wants to do is be a thaumaturgist just like you guys, and you don't want to let him participate. Something tells me that he's going to go and learn how to actually amplify his abilities and he's going to become the greatest one of all. Or something dumb like that. Let's see. Coco Buki. What do you want, Mr. Guildmaster? Armory system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be undertaken by speaking to the receptionist in the corresponding guild. There exist myriad disciplines in Arosa that adventurers can take up. For the most rewarding experience, however, it is recommended that your first focus on mastering your current class. Okay. Let's get immediately a coif. I want to be a coif. Alright. Gear sets allow you to save several different combinations of equipment and swap them at your leisure. A button of the gear set interface is located up the portion of the character window. This can be a very convenient feature for players who quickly switch back and forth between various classes, as well as for players who wish to have ready multiple sets of gear. For different types of duties they undertake, such as PvP or instance raids, select the plus button to register your currently equipped gear as a new set. Alright, so let's go and try this on out. That's your money, that's your signs, stance, actions, traits. Set armory. Um, perhaps character, currency, bonus. Okay. First of all, I need to actually go and spend my attribute points. So, intelligence and mind. Let's see. Increase my intelligence. And let's do. Two piety, one intelligence. And that's for emotes. Profile, classes, currency. Oh, come on, 
Action Traits Duty Inventory. No, it's not the inventory. It's not going to be Return. Let's see. So I have to be level 15 before I can actually undertake that quest. Gear set list. Ah. Let's add this now. So there we go. There's my gear set for him. And let me equip my new hat. Because with this. And now I can make use of a set of. Another set of armor. See, with that set of armor, whatever. Chest actual equipment I can actually have a hat so now I can actually equip a very pretty decent actual chest and then a good hat and that will actually be more than what I had before plus 6 plus 13 is it actually hold on open up my inventory 6 and 13 but I also get bonuses to vitality mind intelligence and accuracy so I guess it uh, works out okay so now I have enough, I can actually start going and doing some of the other aspects. I think I'm going to do one of the other magic ones. And let me go on over to Weaving, to the Weaver's Guild, and start training in that. I mean, if you're going to have a magic guy. You want to have some weaving ability, so you actually are pretty decent at that. Alright, Guild Receptionist. Greetings, adventure, and welcome to the Wellspring of Udon Fashion. Yes, 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 yes. Heard it before. Join the Weaver's Guild. Oh, I thought so much. You're eager to learn all about our illustrious history. I'm sure you know. Uh, Peerless Place, Vast Deserts. Beauty and quality. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about that. Hold on. Hurry up. Sure, why not? Sweet, my quest is to walk on over here. I think I can do that. Oh man, look at this guy, he's fancy as shit. Oh, look at him dance, he's such a great dancer. Please allow me to suffer. Okay, your main weapon determines your current class. Changing classes is as easy as equipping a different type of weapon or tool to your main hand slot. Crafting log obtained. Uh oh. Let's see. Can I not equip anything? Equip. So you actually level in that. Interesting. I don't even think this actually does anything, but whatever. Just so that my dude doesn't run around naked. <laughs> 